welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay. So you've got, uh, you're dealing with somebody, a brown-haired person that might be blocking uh, your path or blocking you from moving forward. They're standing in front of the door over there. The door seems to be open, but this, this person seems to preventing, be preventing you uh, from moving forward. So whatever's going on over there, you need to be uh, very strategic. But a lot of truth will be revealed, or there, a lot of truth is about to come to light at this particular moment. So something is going to be revealed to you. Maybe that's going to help you uh, overcome whatever this person is, whoever this person is that's preventing you from moving forward. You've been working very, very hard. You've got the diligence card over here. So putting your head down, working long hours, you know, getting the job done, really, that's been your main focus, really. So in the past, there's been, you've been dealing with a lot of deceptive people, people pretending to be friendly and supportive of you. There's two things, two cards over here about people wearing masks. So if you haven't been aware of it, there have been people that have been speaking, maybe saying things behind your back or not being very supportive, but pretending to be your friends. So these two cards are showing deception and secrets and people wearing masks and lies uh, and deceit going on over there around you. Now, going into the future, you will find somebody that is very, very supportive. There's going to be a very good friendship that comes in for you, and they're going to give you a helping hand. And this is going to help you uh, get out of this position where you're feeling very, very stuck. So somebody coming in, almost rescuing you uh, from a position where, uh, you know, there seems to be uh, no hope in sight because you seem to be very tied in, very blocked in. Uh, but it looks, and very frustrated as well, uh, but it looks like there is some friendship coming in to allow you to move forward. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the zombie tarot, and that's for the main read. of the deck you've got the magician so you're pretty well trained up for this particular role this is about working very very hard multitasking doing a lot of things at once working under deadlines maybe a lot of communication uh, or the magician is starting something brand new so whatever this job is you may have just started it but you've also got a lot of skills you're very very trained up you're very very talented for this particular post and you're working pretty hard as well this is the card of mercury uh, it's ruled by mercury so you know you're doing a lot of mental um, you know acrobatics if you like so working pretty pretty hard at what you're doing and you're going to be able to manifest things for you things are going to start moving in the right direction you've got the hierophant card and the seven of swords so you need to do your research about this particular situation there is some information that will come to light over here but you will also need to go and do some research and get some advice as well on what to do maybe some professional advice as well or Get advice from somebody who has already done, gone through this particular situation. Uh, but that information is going to be coming in for you there. Um, you've got the Seven of Swords. So whoever you're dealing with, you might need to get this advice in order for you to deal with this particular person. So this is the card of Seven of Swords about a deceptive person. But this particular deck shows this woman just kicking everybody out of her way to get what she wants and even shooting them if they're not listening to her. So you're dealing with that kind of energy, a person who bulldozes their way, is a bit of a bully um, and uses even deceptive means, manipulative means to get what they want. So ne you need to do some research, find out some information in order for you to get control of that situation. This person might have some kind of Achilles heel and maybe you're just doing a little bit of research or asking people, uh, you know, how to actually sort this particular person out will uh, put you in the running or will put you, um, you know, give you the edge over this particular person. So you've got the Ace of Hazards of the Year. So this might have been a new job that you started over there, uh, you know, where you've had to work pretty hard. It's been paying pretty well as well. So you have started this job in this last year or so. Uh, you've got the King of Swords over here. So this was, uh, maybe you were dealing with somebody, um, you know, this could have been dealing with uh, um, a legal situation. The King of Swords is, is a card that belongs to Libra. So you have been... In, a, in an authority position. So you started this new job. So usually I read this as something that's legal, but because this is your sign and this is your card, 
And you can see this man sitting on his throne over there with a lot of guns. So whatever position you've taken on, this is a new job that you started on, you've had to be really hands-on about it, but you've also had to defend yourself quite a bit, uh, you know, in order for you to get that job done. So maybe people not listening to your authority or not taking... Um, uh, instruction from you as well and you know you're very defensive as well about what is going on so you're trying to get that message across to people and maybe people don't want to listen as well um, and that's what you've been dealing with really but and you're also feeling pretty lonely over there so you know there doesn't seem to be much support for you from people around uh, and you might be having you know there might be somebody um, breathing down in your back maybe your people who are higher than you are expecting certain results from you as well so you're having to uh, you know make um, whoever you're uh, in charge of work pretty hard. Maybe this is the reason why they've isolated you or they're not supporting you. And this is why, you know, you're having to force the issue or make them get the job done uh, because you are under pressure as well. So uh, that's what's going on. And you've had to be pretty logical as well with whatever that job is. So in a position of authority, this is a new job, but it seems like, you know, you're also having to be up in arms in that particular situation. This person's got that gun over there. So being up in arms about it, uh, having to defend yourself, having to force the issue as well. And you've been working very hard, hard as well. So you yourself had to be very, very hands-on in this particular role. Uh, you, it's not like you can give the instruction and uh, expect people to do it you've had to actually go in there and uh, actually get you know get the job done as well now you want things to change because you feel as though you know you're being victimized or you feel like there's a lot of uh, conflict that comes your way there with that Wheel of Fortune. So you want things to end. You want all these uh, problems to come to an end with the Wheel of Fortune. So that's been on your mind. You want changes to come along. Now you've got the going into the future you've got the Emperor card over here and this is about um taking control, taking authority, and sorting things out. Uh, and, um, you know, being in charge, really, um, you know, closing the door on, on things that are um, causing upset and really taking control of that situation. So you've got to show your authority uh, and you've got to manage, um, you know, manage your resources, really. This could also well be that, you know, there could be some kind of legal issue that you are dealing with. So that uh, King of Swords, even though it's your card, because you've got the Emperor over there, there could be some kind of legal issue that you are also dealing with. Now, with this Magician card and this um, Seven of uh, Swords, the Magician card is ruled by Mercury, and there's, you know, person, uh, people that you're dealing with might be um, very deceptive in what they say. Mercury tends to be a bit of a liar and uh, a bit of a trickster. So they might be doing things that are really tripping you up. So just be aware of that, that things are around you are not exactly what they seem. And you might need to just, uh, you know, uh, take authority and not bow down to whatever everybody else says or does uh, around you. Maybe, you know, you have to be a bit more firm or be, uh, take control a lot more than what you have been doing. And also, you know, the Emperor card always also talks about uh, managing of resources. So make sure you're, you're managing your resources, your finances, don't be overspending. Uh, but also being in a very defensive position and really watching your back. You can see this man's got this door behind him uh, that is all barred off. So make sure you close your the door on people that are not... Um, that are going to be causing problems for you, but also watch your back. Make sure you are protecting, uh, you know, whatever you're working for. Now, you've got the Six of Wands, so you are managing to overcome these problems. So there are lots of situations that you are um, dealing with, and you are managing um, to overcome uh, the problems uh, that you have been um, facing. You've got the star card over here, so there's a lot of uh, recognition coming in for the work you're doing. So people do realize, and there's, you know, commendations, merits, there might be even promotions that come in as well. So you might be even be, uh, be promoted to a position of greater authority with the star card lying next to it over there and that merit, uh, medal of merit over there on it. So whatever position you're going for, uh, it seems like maybe you're going to be offered some kind of promotion as well because people recognize how well you're doing your particular job. Now you've got your three of hazards over here, so you just want to, you know, work pretty hard, get the job done, uh, you know, be in charge, be in control, make sure that everything is going fine with that three of hazards, which is the three of pentacles. So just working, collaborating, taking control of situations or taking control of uh, any projects that you are working on. So the final outcome, you've got the seven of wands, the five of cups and the sun card. So... 
The seven of wands is actually defending yourself or defending your decisions that you make. You can see this man's, uh, you know, standing over this. I think it's a corpse there, uh, and defending himself. So, you know, you have to protect what you're working for, working with, defend yourself, and don't let anybody take advantage of you. And you've got the Five of Cups over here. So if anything, you know, if there's any um, failures or if there's any um, disappointments, you're going to have to just leave that all behind you. Put that, you know, if, if you've worked on something and it wasn't successful, you're just going to have to not let that get to you. The Five of Cups is feeling depressed and feeling regretful about things that happened to you in the past. So, you, you know, you, you've got a lot of graves here. So you need to just lay that all to rest. Forget about the past and now concentrate on the future. And don't let anybody kind of, you know, kind of dig up your past um, failures and, and throw it at you and say, well, you didn't get this done. And that is the reason why we can't give you this particular thing. So make sure that, you know, you are focused on the future. Forget that past. Stop crying about it. Uh, if you didn't get something, uh, if something was not achieved in the past, let it go and walk on, move away from it um, and defend what you're doing at the moment. Stand up for yourself right now. And whatever you do is going to be very, very successful. You've got the sun card over here. Uh, so this is about that new sun rising. The sun card is a very positive card, and it's also a card of success. So whatever you're doing right now, forget about the past disappointments. It looks like you're going to be very successful at what you do right now. But make sure you're standing up and defending yourself. And take control. Take authority of that situation. It looks like, you know, people are recognizing all that you are doing, and they are very, they're admiring you quite a bit. And you are going to be victorious in whatever it is that you're going for. So I'm just going to draw some cards from Fairy Tarot. And this is for the Oracle read. So you've got the World card over here, which says a brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So it looks like you know, you're going to be moving on. There's some either promotion coming on or some kind of uh, maybe even a new job. But it looks like it's more like a promotion that's coming in for you. And it's going to be very, very successful. Um, you've got the Ace of Springs, oh, a Spring over here, which says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing co career opportunities. So the old phase that you were in or the old job maybe that you were in is now coming to an end or close and you're being promoted or being offered something new with this Ace of Spring. And this looks like it's going to be very, very uh, successful. You can see this tree growing up very, very nicely. And you've got the Seven of Autumn, so it is going to bring in some, uh, you know, financial rewards. So we have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next step steps a prudent investment of time or money so maybe you're even planning on how you're going to be investing your time and your effort but whatever you've been working on or you know it will produce financial rewards but it also will uh, allow you to move up in your career as well this new opportunity that comes your way and give you a lot more authority as well so just have that patience and wait and just keep going really just hang in there it looks like things are going to start moving on there's that recognition this rewards and merit coming in for you and you know a promotion or you know things are going to start moving your way the seven of autumn seven of pentacles so money is coming in it is going to be coming in but you just have to be um, you know, patient. This new job itself is going to bring in extra money as well with that um, Ace of Spring. So there's some kind of improvement of your financial status as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching.